to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Collector Car Showroom. We are not a consignment dealership. We own all of our vehicles here in our showroom. Our showroom is 25,000 square feet, and usually we have about 65 to 70 vehicles on hand. We're down a little bit right now because we're selling them faster than we can buy them, but we're working on that. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. It's hangsters.com. That is where you can find all of our most current inventory. We leave our YouTube videos up at all times, whether they were shot a day ago, a month ago, or two years ago. So you don't know if this vehicle is still available or not unless you visit our website or give us a call. Because once the cars are funded in full, they come down off of our website. Uh, but if we have pending deals on them, they stay up until they're funded in full. So you still want to call or email. So today, um, a hot commodity right now are pickup trucks. Early 80s, mid 80s, late 80s, uh, full size V8, Chevy and Ford. Well, this one today we're going to present to you is a 1986 Ford F-150. And it is definitely a driver quality truck because we drove it every day. It was our truck. It was our shop truck. Um, it served us well. And now it's time for it to move on to its new owner uh, to serve that owner well. But under the hood, you have a 302 V8 with power steering, power brakes, and as I said earlier, we are in Daytona Beach, Florida, so yes, this truck does have air, and it does work. It's a driver quality truck, that means driver quality paint, interior, so on and so forth. Red in color. You can see the front uh, brush guard there is chrome. Front bumper is chrome. The chrome on the front bumper is good, a little distorted, but overall in good shape. Uh, the red paint. Uh, you know, paint's always a tough question to answer. Um, definitely driver quality paint job. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give it a 7.5 to an 8. Um, good paint, but not perfect. Um, F-150 4x4 logo here on the driver's side front fender. You have BFG all-terrain tires. Um, we just, those tires don't even have a thousand miles on them. We put them on and we just drive it locally here in Daytona, just running errands and stuff. Uh, transporting parts, wheels, tires, whatever. Um, it doesn't get run highway use or any kind of extended uh, long, long miles. Um, dual chrome mirrors on the truck. You can see the bolt to the door, full size. Uh, window glass all the way around the truck is in excellent condition. Have some running boards there. Take a look into the truck. Uh, bench seat. Uh, again, four wheel drive in the floor. The steering wheel is in good shape. I'll show you later on in the test drive, there's a hole in the center of the dash there, um, up above the radio. Um, just is what it is when you get trucks in Florida and the sun beats through the window 350 days a year, because <laughs> um, we have sun 350 days a year here. And um, you know, it's just the nature of the beast, we get some cracked dashes. So there is a hole up there, we'll show you later on in the uh, test drive. But overall, the, the carpeting in the truck's in real good shape. Uh, the bench seat's in excellent condition. Check out the headliner up there. That's in good shape as well. A lot of this stuff I'm pointing out to you, you'll see in the still photos. Got a nice set of rubber Ford floor mats. Uh, door panels on the truck are in good condition. There's a little bit of fading at the top there, but um, the door panels themselves, the, uh, the vinyl and the plastic are not cracked up or you know deteriorating. Uh, black carpet on the bottom is also in good condition. You know, you can see driver quality here. See, you got some rub there on your uh, door. The weather seal right here is a little ripped, you know, but it, it's a truck that gets used every day. Uh, chrome on the roll bar is in good condition. Have some KC lights up there on the top of the roll bar, and they do function. Um, taking a look in the bed. Again, we use the truck, so it's not you know your standard uh, pickup truck bed that you normally see that's all pretty wood and pretty chrome and all that stuff this is truck gets used gets driven um, all the way around the truck there's no uh, there's no paint blisters there's no paint cracks um, there's no areas of fade on the paint it's a, it's a good driver quality paint job uh, chrome rear bumper you have the, I'm not going to put the tailgate down, it works, trust me, it's just manual. Uh, just pop both sides and it's just got your standard uh, chain latches there for the tailgate. Uh, do have a tow hitch on there. Uh, dual uh, 
mufflers coming out of the rear under the bumper. Step side truck. Again, the uh, BFG all terrains are literally, I'd be surprised if they had 800 miles on. I know there's less than a thousand on them, but um, same thing with the rims. We've got the rims too. The rims are brand new. Well, they're less than a year old. Um, vinyl and plastic on the passenger side door panels in good shape. Same thing with the carpeting on the lower door. Again, the uh, bench seat, great shape. Uh, glove compartment, uh, overall uh, dash presentation presents itself very well. Um, it's, you know, it's about what it should be for a 1986 vehicle. Carpeting's in excellent condition in the uh, front there underneath the floor mats. Check it out. It's in good shape. F-150 4x4 logo on the passenger side to mirror the driver's side. The uh, grill, uh, front grill is in good condition. It's the original one, appears to be, to me it looks original. Um, we bought this from a local person here in Florida. We probably had it a year and a half and um, it served us well. But uh, what's nice about these trucks, not only do they look cool um, and they run good, but they don't depreciate like the uh, maybe the 2020 or the 2021 coming up trucks, um, you know, where you, you buy them and you have immediate depreciation on them. In fact, these things are not only holding their value, but increasing in value. So this is something you can buy and get into and use for a year or two or three or hell, maybe even fix it up, make it your own and keep it for an extended period of time. But what I'm getting at is that you're not going to take an immediate depreciation hit on these things. Um, air power steering power brakes something you can drive every single day something that looks good and you're not going to lose money doing it so let's take it out on the rack and show you guys the undercarriage and see what that looks like here we are underneath our 1986 ford f-150 uh front disc brakes as i told you we used this truck every single day um, we parked it in the same spot there was never any oil in the floor you look up at the oil pan it's nice and dry uh, that could change tomorrow, but for right now it is dry. Same thing with the tranny pan. The frame rails on the truck, cross member, all in good shape. Take a look at the floors uh, between the running board there and the frame rail. Great shape both sides there. Gas tanks in good shape. Uh, drive shaft. Nothing leaking out of the uh, rear of the trans either. These springs in the rear in good shape. Uh, the dual exhaust coming out the back are in good condition as well. As I stated earlier, you do have a tow hitch there in the back. Now we've never used it. Uh, We've never really towed anything with the truck, but it is there if you need to, uh, you know, haul anything, tow anything behind there. So, this is in our Daytona Beach showroom. It was our daily driver shop truck. The air blows cold. The vehicle stops just like it should. It runs fantastic. Starts first time every time. Um, never stalls out. Never spits. Never sputters. Uh, good truck. Somebody's going to get themselves a nice truck here. It's not a show truck. Um, it's not a restoration, um, it's just a really nice, really solid V8 mid-80s pickup truck. If you're interested in this vehicle, we encourage all of our buyers to come down firsthand. Take a look at our entire business operation, our showroom, all the cars inside which we own, this vehicle or any vehicle that you might be interested in. Don't just take my word for it. I barely know what I'm doing here. Um, come on down and check it out for yourself. We offer uh, at full retail price, uh, free shipping and a 12 month, 12,000 mile powertrain warranty that's good anywhere in the United States. You have a $100 deductible and the warranty company picks up the remainder on a covered repair. Uh, engine, transmission, and rear end, and on this truck, since it does have four wheel drive, the transfer case will be covered as well. Um, what else? Again, the shipping included is at full retail price. Uh, if we negotiate the price of the truck, um, you're gonna pay the shipping cost um, we'll arrange it for you and you're just going to have to pay for the shipping yourself. Uh, we're going to put this down. Um, beautiful Friday afternoon here in Daytona Beach. We're going to take this truck out on drive and show you how it works. Okay, um, 
we are inside our 86 F-150. We never did anything with the horn. When we bought this thing, um, the pad was all cracked up, so we put a new pad on here. So there is no horn, we'll get that working. If it doesn't work through the column, we'll put a button underneath the dash. Um, but pretty much everything else works. The windshield wipers work. Um, the turn signals, they all work on the outside. Uh, the indicator doesn't work on the driver's side in the dash. Um, the passenger side does. If this is just a bulb, we'll fix it. If not, you know, I'm not going to start tearing the whole dash apart to fix a turn signal that doesn't work on the inside. I'm sure you guys can figure out left and right. Um, fuel gauge does work. Um, oil functioning, charging system functioning, and the temp gauge does work. We just started the truck, so we're not up to temp yet. RPMs, they do work. Okay. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this is a Florida AC truck, and the AC does work and is blowing cold. Of course, it's on the floor right now, and somebody put it on. Who the hell had it on heat? So the AC is blowing cold. I'll leave it on a little bit. I want to turn it down because I want to be able to hear myself talk. You guys be able to hear me. As I mentioned earlier, there is a hole in the dash up here. Okay, this is where the sun beat through the windshield and just dried it all to hell and it cracked apart over the years. It's the original dash. I'm sure for 150 bucks you can go on eBay or Amazon or somewhere online and buy a new one. Um, we could probably do it as well, but you know, it is what it is. It's an old truck. Uh, radio. A little collective soul there. Um, that does function and it sounds good. Uh, both sun visors are there. They're not torn up or anything. Um, no tears to speak of in the seat. No major stains. You know, they're not perfect, but they're in pretty good shape. What else? Windows are just crank. Of course, both crank windows work up and down. Uh, no problems there. Vent windows. Uh, no excessive noise through the vent windows. Take it out on a drive. It runs out fantastic. Like I said, we used it every single day. Truck runs great. Hands on the wheel. Running straight. Brakes work good. Uh, speedometer is right where it should be. We're doing 45, 43, 44, 45, whatever. Um, response in the wheel is great. We're moving as soon as the wheel is turning. There's no shimmies, shakes, vibrations in the tires. Oh, there's no excessive tire noise either. There's a little more aggressive tire on the truck. Windows down, you can hear there's no excessive tire howl or noise. Temperature gauge is coming up like it should. I'm gonna roll up this window because I got the seatbelt flapping in my ear, it's annoying. But when you do put the window up, it's nice and quiet in the cab. Really nice running 86 Ford F-150 here. We'll run it through the gears here a little bit. It's obviously not a muscle car, so I'm not going to twist the thing, but you know, it's just, I'll show you how the transmission shifts. It shifts well. Like I had mentioned earlier in the video, these, all of these trucks, these uh, early, mid, late 80s pickup trucks, they're all on the rise um, in terms of what they're doing uh, retail wise, um, private, individual wise. Uh, you know, the value of the things are just coming up. And they look cool. They, they ride nice. The full-size pickups, whether it's been a Ford or a Chevy, um, they tend to ride real nice and smooth. And, and they look great. We always get thumbs up. People, at, when we had we had Hangsters logos on the door of this truck and the Hangsters logo on the uh, pickup truck bed there, and we would always get asked when it was in our showroom, "You selling it? You selling it? You selling it?" And at the time, the answer was no, but now the answer is yes. Um, great running truck so if you are interested in the truck give us a call it's 386-944-9219 it is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach Hanksters.com is our website Devin's gonna put 80 to 90 photos up for you of this truck this afternoon along with this video presentation we're doing right now
Uh, the truck probably won't last long. I think it's got a good look to it. It's red. It's nice and solid. Runs nice. Drives nice. Inexpensive. This truck is going to be offered for under a $20,000 price point. So, great, great running truck. Again, we own all of our vehicles. We would love to add you to our growing list of customers. Um, so, please give us a call. Or contact us through our website there's a text us tab there's a make offer tab there is an email us tab um, there's several different ways to communicate with us um, so reach out to us and we'll get this thing heading to you wherever you're at in the United States or come on to down to Daytona Beach or up to Daytona Beach we do a lot of business in Florida too people come over from the West Coast people come up from South Southern Florida drive it home AC's blowing ice cold runs fantastic you can use it as a daily driver We'd love to earn your business. Hankster's.com. Check it out.